In this video, I'm gonna go over the pros and cons and do a demonstration on two different styles of hose clamps. You got their traditional worm drive hose clamp that you can find at just about any store and gas station across America. And you have the T-bolt style hose clamp, which is a little more of a special order and is one of the best style hose clamps you can get. Now there's a lot of differences between these two style clamps. One of them being you can only tighten down these worm drive clamps to about 20 to 30 inch pounds in this size right here. The exact same size in the T-bolt, you're looking at about 80 inch pounds of torque. You can get these much more tighter and you're going to get a leak proof seal. When you get into the bigger style hose clamps, like this inch, inch and a quarter style, you're looking at about 30 to 45 inch pounds of torque on this one. On the T-bolt, you're looking at a minimum of 60 up to 120 inch pounds of torque depending on the style. Now these are 304 stainless steel. This one's rated to 120 inch pounds of torque. You can get this hose nice and tight. Now let's take a look at the damage a worm drive hose clamp causes. You can see the hose is completely marred up all the way around with an uneven clamping surface. You can tell by the indentations that it clamps a little bit harder in some spots than others. So it doesn't provide a 360 seal. If we take a look at this inch and a quarter hose, look at the damage it has had. It's even torn right here because it was clamped down so tight improperly. Now if we take a look at the hose where the T-bolt came off of, absolutely no damage at all to the hose. Still looks like brand new. Same thing when we're looking at this inch and a quarter. No damage all the way around. A perfect 360 degree seal where the clamping is the exact same all the way around. In order to tighten down these worm drives, you have two options. You can use a flat blade screwdriver or you can use a socket and ratchet. Now almost all T-bolt is going to be ratchet drive only. Because there's so much tightening torque you can put on these, there's no way you can get them super tight with a flathead screwdriver. Almost every one of these T-bolts is gonna be similar and you're gonna need a ratchet or nut driver to tighten these down. Now depending on the space of availability where you're putting these clamps, these worm drive clamps are gonna be smaller and able to be put in tighter spaces. So this one here measures about a half inch wide. The same size T-bolt. You're looking at a little over three quarters of an inch wide. So if space is an issue, you're probably gonna have to stick with the worm drive clamps. Now one advantage to the worm drive is they have a wide range. Like this clamp here, you can easily go from three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter, no problem. With the T-bolt, they have a very limited range. You need to know exactly what size hose you're putting this on. And as you can see right here, this clamp is rated for 32 millimeter to 35 millimeter. Not a very big range. So when you're going to buy these hose clamps, there's a much bigger variety and you need to know exactly what size hose these are going on. Another consideration between these two clamps, if this is going on a hose, with more than six PSI of pressure to it, whether it's oil or fuel, you're definitely gonna want a T-bolt. Or if you have the room, you could maybe double up on these if that's all you have. But if you're using high PSI line, you're definitely gonna want the T-bolt clamp. Now the only reason I ever choose a worm drive clamp over one of these T-bolt clamps is if I'm working in a really tight space and I don't have the room for one of these. Then the worm drive clamp is pretty much the only way to go. The cost difference between these two clamps, same size, worm drive runs about 59 cents, T-bolt clamp runs about three bucks a piece. Now in conclusion, the only pro to this worm drive clamp is the space issue. If you're working in a tight space, this one's going to be much more applicable. Now if space isn't an issue and you can fit the T-bolt in, this is going to outperform this clamp in every way possible. So on your next project, if you're going to be clamping hoses, definitely go with the T-bolt clamps. 
There's a link in the description on how to get these T-bolt clamps on Amazon and all the different sizes they have. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and informational. Thanks for watching.